All right, so welcome back, friends. So this is the stretching video for men that were too manly to stretch. <laughs> when I started, when I started doing this, I uh, I thought, oh man, I don't need to do any stretching. You know, that's nonsense. But as I get older, what I'm finding is it, it's helped me immensely. It's it's it, in all aspects of my life, and for nothing else. Or the most important thing is, is it's, it's taking away that back pain. So let's get started. It's going to take us about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, you don't need anything special. You can do it anywhere. If you're ashamed or embarrassed to do this, then uh, go in your bedroom and uh, lock your door. Tell your wife you're doing your whatever, organizing your socks. Uh, but we'll just jump into it. You guys can follow along. I'll just do this once and we'll repeat this every day. So you can just replay it if you want to. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is to stretch out that neck a little bit gonna really really try to relax relaxing is the most important part don't pull on it don't hurt yourself just the weight of your arm let it pull and usually the duration I'll take deep breaths and try to pull a little bit more on every exhale three and then go to the other side and the same thing just the weight of your arm if you can't bend over very much don't worry about it that flexibility will come It'll come slow, but it will come. Now we're gonna hang our head. Weight of your arms pulling down, keep that back straight. And rock your head back, back and forth. Round one way, round the other. That's it right there. Now let's do some shoulder shrugs. We're gonna go forward. We're gonna roll those shoulders. Five or six times. I'm going to go back. Really expanding that chest. Pull those shoulders back. Stretching the chest. Stretching the shoulders. Stretching the back. Forward. And back. Alright. Now you're going to need a chair. Something you can put your hand on. Or the edge of your bed. I'm going to go over here to the deck. And we're going to start stretching those, uh, those uh, hamstrings. Okay, with your chair in front of you, or whatever you have, you're going to have your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and you may not be able to bend over very straight, but lock those knees, feet pointed forward, and we're going to bend down, and we're going to kind of support ourselves with our hands, and we're going to bend down until we can feel those hamstrings stretching. Down until they're tight, and then three breaths, exhaling, try to go a little bit further, fight for it. Fight for it, going down. Now, if you're more flexible, I'm not super flexible, but if, if you're more flexible, use the lower part of the chair. If you can get down lower. When I first started, just, I guess it's been four weeks ago, I wasn't able to go anywhere near this low, and I am gaining on it. One, two, three, fight for that, fight for that stretch. And if you're just, you don't get discouraged, guys. I'm telling you if, if you, if you can't even hardly bend over and you're thinking that there's no hope, know that you, you're not doing this by yourself. There's a whole bunch of guys that are doing this on here. I've, I've got, have received emails from folks promising they're going to go through this with me. Know that I'm doing it. I'm doing it every day. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move the chair over to the side. Again, the same shoulder width apart. We're going to go down over to the right. And we're going to start that same thing. Knees locked. Don't bend your knees. Keep that back straight. And you should feel a stretch in that right hamstring as well as down in your calf maybe. One. Fight for it on every exhale. Two. Three. Hold that last one. There we go. You can move your chair. Same thing over here. We're going to go down over to the left. Hands flat. Back straight. Exhale down one. Lower. Three. And one more quick one, straight down. What you'll find is after those initial ones, we'll be able to go down a little further. One. Two. Three. Okay, now you're going to need a mat or you can just do it on your carpet. Uh, I'm out here in the yard, so I don't want to get all wet. So I've got this rubber mat. We'll start on that with our stretching. Trot on my mat there and got it all dirty. Okay, here we go. Okay, so our first stretch, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go our left leg, leg straight. Pull that, 
pull that right one in. So our body is kind of at a 90 degree angle here. We're gonna make sure on all these stretches, we're gonna keep that toe pointed. If you keep that toe pointed, it'll, it'll give you a better stretch. The key with this is to really relax. This isn't just no yoga nonsense, it's important. The more relaxed your body is, uh, the better you're gonna be able to stretch. And if you can only go down this far, that's fine. We're gonna fight for it and we'll get better and better. Our goal is to be able to go all the way down and grab our toes. Maybe you can do it now. I, I certainly can't, but I can get a lot closer than I could four weeks ago. All right, we're gonna go down. Keeping that back straight. Don't bend that head, keep that head erect. Two, pull yourself down with your arm, but don't hurt yourself. Three, try to get a little bit more each time. Hold that last one. Oh, good, that feels good. Okay, next one, we'll put the right foot out, left foot in. I've noticed that one side's more difficult for me than the other because my hips have a tendency to get out of alignment for, from years and years of, of abuse and lack of stretching, and this is more awkward to me, but it's getting better. The more I do this, the more it's, I'm getting my pelvis and everything in a line. All right, we're gonna fight for this too. Knee straight, toes pointed. One. Two. Keep that head up and that back as straight as you can. Fight for it. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Okay, good, good. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, my worst stretch right here. We're gonna go as far apart as we can, uh, which I can't go very far because I'm just so, my muscles are so tight, but I've gotten better. So go as far as you can. Bend your knees a little bit if you have to. And we're gonna try to keep that back straight. Don't bend your head down too much. Just kind of keep it straight and we're gonna go down. If you can't go down, go ahead and put your hands behind you, keeping that back straight. And we're gonna push a little bit. Just push until you feel, should be feeling that stretch right here in your groin. And then fight to get those knees down. Once you feel that stretch, start pressing those knees down. One, two, three, Oh, that's a painful one. Okay, I even feel that up in my sternum here. Now we're gonna put our feet together. <clears throat> sad, the state we've let ourselves <laughs> got a pain in my pain in my gizzard here. Uh, sad, the state we've let ourselves get into, but we don't have to stay that way. You're not doing this alone. Remember that we're going to do this together. In a year from now, we're gonna. We won't believe the differences. Okay, we're gonna put our feet together now and we're gonna put our elbows inside of our knees, grabbing our ankles, and we're gonna force that down, feeling that stretch in the inside of the thigh right there. One, two, three. Hold that last one, fight for it. Good. Now while we're still here, let's grab those uh, toes if you can. And now it's okay to bend and to, and to curve your back and your neck with this one and pull yourself down, curving the spine, bending the head down, and pull yourself down. One, two, three, hold it. Okay, very good. All right, one last one while we're right here. Let's put our legs together. Keeping that back straight. You should be able to find, you can go a little bit further now. Grab those ankles, toes pointed, back straight, head up, and pull and feel that stretch in the back of your legs. One, two, three. All right, excellent. You're almost done there. We don't have too much to go. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this, you're gonna to wanna to warm yourself up a little bit. I came right off of a run into this, so I had, my, my body heat was up and I, and I was, you know, kind of warmed up a little bit. Uh, do get, Just do some jumping jacks. Just do some or some deep knee lunges and, and kind of get yourself just 60 seconds or so to get, get some heat into your legs, feel that blood pumping a little bit before you start. You don't wanna do this cold. Uh, now we're gonna lay on our mat and uh, we're gonna, I picked the lumpiest spot in the yard here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our left leg straight. 
and a right leg straight, straight. We're gonna come up, we're gonna lock those fingers behind the knee and we're gonna point that toe and we're gonna pull. Remember, relaxing. Remember to relax as much as possible. We're gonna pull. We're gonna take a deep breath on each exhale. We're gonna pull a little bit further and stretch that leg out. Keep that toe straight. Here we go. One. Keep everything knee straight. Two. Relax. Three. Hold it. Good. Now grab your knee. Pull it up to your chest. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg for a count of three. One, two, three. Now take your left hand, put it over your knee, right arm out, and we're gonna roll over with our head and arm to the right straight out, keeping the shoulders on the mat, and we're gonna let our, the weight of our leg pull and just stretch. Just relax there. If you can't go very far, don't worry about it. It'll come. One. You should be feeling a stretching in your chest, in the your, in your butt, in your stomach, all over in your back. Three. Okay. Back up. We're gonna do this three times, both sides. Grab the leg, lock the fingers behind, toes pointed. Relaxed, pull in. One, two, you should be feeling a stretch in your ham in your quad or in your hamstring. Three, hold the third one. Relax. Pull, 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 fight for it. Good. Up to the chest. One, two, three, and over. Head to the right. Arm to the right, relaxing shoulders flat on the ground. Relax into it, melt into it. One, two, three. And last one. Lock those fingers, toes pointed. Pull one, two, three. Up to the chest. This is a good one. This one feels good right here. Three. All right. Over. Head to the right. Arm to the right. Stretching that chest out. Melting into it. Should feel a nice stretch right here on the side of your right glute. All right, very good. We're halfway done with that one. <clears throat> Next, left side, lock those fingers, toes pointed, shoulder, head back, and pull. One, two, three. Now, if you're not flexible enough to do that, if you can't get your hands around there, get yourself a towel, wrap up a bath towel, hook it over the back of your leg if you have to pull that way or even over your heel and do whatever you have to do uh, to get the process started. One, you should feel that right in here. Two, three, and then over. Cross that right hand over that knee, shoulders flat, or left, head to the left, arm to the left, and melt into it. This one's gonna feel really awkward if you haven't done it before, but after about two or three weeks, you're really gonna find your groove with this. Again, toes pointed, pull in, one, two, three, One, two, three, and over. Relax. All right, last one. 
toes pointed. Pull, one. Both legs straight, both toes, toes pointed. Two. Three. Fight for that. Don't forget to breathe. Pull that knee in. Two, pull it right into the chest. Three. And last one. Keep those shoulders pinned. Oh, good. All right, very good. All right. Well done, we're almost there. Hang in there. Hang in there, it's only gonna get easier from here on out. So this one's easy, but very effective. It's helped me tremendously. And it's, uh, it helps to unlock those hips. If you've got uh, that lower back pain and, and those, your, your hips are, are, are not very moving, this will help kind of uh, get everything moving again and get some strain off of your spine. And it's kind of hard to explain, but you just imagine rolling a circle with your hips around and round. Just imagine kind of a, a round donut underneath you and you're gonna make contact with your the left pelvis rolling around to the spine, keeping the back and doing all that motion just in the hips. Lay flat, relax, put your hands on your chest like that and really relaxing. The key to this is relaxing. For me, when I start doing it, I don't feel anything really moving. I'll go to the right now and then as I relax, I'll start feeling, I'll even feel like a clicking in my spine where things are starting to move and to pop. And this helps keep my, my pelvis loose. So we'll just go to the left about five or six times, slowly rotating round and round. Stop, go the other way. And if you don't feel, if you feel really awkward with this, don't feel like it's doing anything, just keep at it and you'll get it. It's an awkward thing to do. It's really hard to master the first couple weeks you'll get it. Do this about 10 times each side. Round and round, just like that. Looks weird, but it really helps. Okay, that's good. So this is a stretch that I had a lot of trouble with. Uh, I wasn't able to do for a couple weeks. It's getting easier now. So what you're gonna do is get down, down on hands and knees. You're gonna bring that right leg up and you're gonna put it underneath your heel right here. As you come down, your balls should sit right there on, on your heel. And you're gonna come down into this position with your toes pointed on the left leg and fold it in and we're gonna relax. You should feel, as you pull full down, just melting down into the ground, you should feel a stretch in your calf and in your, especially in your quad, or in your hamstring, and in your glute. And we're gonna just put all of our weight, we're just gonna rest, just melt down into the ground. Relaxing. Put your head down if you have to. One. Two. Three. Feeling that stretch on the inside of your thigh, and then your hamstring, even your back. I like that. Left leg, same thing. We're just gonna do this once each side. Bring it in. If you, if you need help, just grab your foot and pull it in. Toes pointed on that right leg now. Melt down in there. You should really feel it in the back of your leg right here. Really relax. Go down as low as you can. Just let your weight pull you down into the ground. One. Two, three, right on. Okay, we're almost done. I don't know why it is, but there, there's, there's some sort of a strange stigma about this, especially for men. It doesn't seem women have any problem looking after themselves and stretching and, and keeping fit. Um, but you know, I, I mean, I, I, it was funny. I was, I was talking about this the other day to some of the guys in the fire department, and two of them like sheepishly admitted, "Yeah, I, I do a little bit of yoga in the morning, or I do this or that. It helps my back pain." But it seemed like they were afraid to admit it. So, you know, the people say, "Well, John Wayne didn't do any of that." Well, John Wayne died a horrible death relatively young, you know. So. 
<laughs> we got to look after ourselves. The body was meant was uh, meant to to move, and in the days of old, when we were a little bit more agricultural, and you know, guy got his exercise out chopping wood and and working in the field and stuff. But now uh, we've become so so sedentary. Uh, is that did I say the right word? Um, a lot of sitting, a lot of driving. If you're a truck driver like that, uh, but you should be able to do this whether it's in the hotel. You know, get a mat and go out in the park if you have to. It doesn't it doesn't matter. But it's going to change your quality of life and it, it's a small thing to do and you're going to feel so much better um, if you just make this part of your, your daily routine. Do it twice. I'm doing it twice a day. I'm Instead of being on the computer uh, in the evening, um, I'm, list, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing this, the same routine. Okay, so to finish up here, we're going to grab, a, uh, grab your, uh, your leg. Whoops, <laughs> balance there. I'm on an uneven ground there. We're going to grab our, our left leg here. Uh, if you need to, just grab a chair or put your hand on the wall. And we're going we're gonna to stretch those quads uh, and the hip flexors. We're going to pull our heel tight up into our butt. And be imp it's important to roll the hips forward so you, feel, you should feel a stretch. And we're going to pull that in there and rot rotate these hips as, as if we're sideways, if this helps. Boy, that mat's slippery. <laughs> uh, not like this, but rotating those hips up, straight in line, and pull that up. Pull it up. One, two, three, like that. And one thing that I do, we're going to do this three times, is um, as I'm doing this, as I'm pulling this up, I'm, as I'm counting, I'm flexing these quads too, this left one, to get a little bit of extra out of there. <laughs> of course, I have perfect balance off camera. All right, one... Pulling it up there, straight body, two, head up erect, two, three, like that. Okay, we're going to do that three times, each side. One, two, on each exhale, pull a little bit harder, three. Right foot, one, two. Three, last one. One, make sure it's easy to forget. Roll those hips up. Two, should be feeling a pulling in the front of your leg muscle, your quad there. Two, three. Just pull that right into your butt. One, Two. Boy, the old feet took some... I've ran three days in a row and I've got a sore right foot on the outside of my right foot. I might be biking in a couple days. Three. Okay. Uh, so, only two things left. So, we're going to stretch those shoulders out a little bit. And we're going to take an arm, a straight arm, and we're going to come under like this, keeping this arm straight. Just like that. And we're going to pull it in. Just let this one just hang and relax. Pull it in. One. Should be able to feel a stretch in your chest. Two, and your shoulder. Three. Remember to relax. Shake it out. Left side. One. Two. Three. Good, good. All right, shake it out. Last one. Now we're gonna we're gonna stretch out those um, triceps. So put your hand on your back, flat, like this here. Body straight up. Grab that elbow, and we're gonna pull. We're gonna stretch out using your fingers, almost like a monster right there, crawling, uh, crawling your fingers down your your spine. And we're gonna pull, and we're gonna stretch that triceps. One, two. Three, shake it out, and last one, one, body straight, two, and three, shake it out. All right, that's it, you've done that. Save this video, you can re-watch it, you can do it with me. One thing that I have found uh, that, that, that I've done, that I've really enjoyed, uh, is uh, either get, like get an audiobook, something that you kind of look forward to listening to, and save it and play that. It's going to take you about 20, 20, if you do this without all my talking, it's going to take you about 20 minutes to do this. What I do in the morning is there is a, um, there's a guy by the name of David, 
Dave, Dave, huh? Oh, I think I forgot his name. Anyway, he's got the guy runs a podcast. It's called Daily Audio Bible. If you have a hard time finding the time uh, to get in and, and to read what you want to read, uh, I recommend highly you go and you you get his free app. It's at the App Store. It's called the Daily Audio Bible. David Harmon, is it? I think I got his name wrong. Sorry. Uh, but what he does is he, he goes through the Bible in a year, and he's really good. He's got a music production background, so the audio is really good. It's really nice background music. He does an excellent job, and I really enjoy his insights at the end. And so what he does is he goes through, um, he'll, he'll read a section of the Old Testament, then he'll read a section of the New Testament, and then I believe he reads the Psalms. Um, and it, he goes through the whole thing in one year. I think he's done it for five or six, seven years, quite, quite a bit. Of, and he does it, he just goes round and round. It's really good. So go get that. Go get the Daily Audio Bible. It's all free. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. And it's, for some reason, it's the, I don't know, it's just coincidence, but it's the perfect time um, when he's done with his podcast, I'm done with my stretching, so it works out great. So I didn't get to do that today because I was doing it with you guys, but uh, normally I will. I'll listen to it tonight. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm proud of you. Good job.